little bit, a little bit warmer, a little bit cooler than if you were boiling it. We have cold water, which is water that's right out of the refrigerator. And we have room temperature water, which is exactly what it sounds like. Now we're not gonna add bacteria to it, we're gonna add a little bit of yeast to it. Yeast grows in the same conditions as bacteria grow. So if the yeast grows, it'll be the same as if saying the bacteria will grow. I'm just gonna swirl it a little bit. And then we're gonna come back in like two minutes to look and see which one of these has signs that it's growing. But we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes and we're gonna go look at station four. Station four has the last three factors in fat tom. Um, F-A-T-T -T is for time. So in the first baggie, it says zero minutes, and look, there's one rice, rice grain, and that's representing the one bacteria that happened to get into your food. Now in ideal circumstances, bacteria reproduce every six and a half minutes. So 10 minutes later, where are they? There's gonna be two bacteria. There they are, two great rice grains. And after 30 minutes, we're at, oh, I think that's like 16 rice grains. After 60 minutes, that's more than I even care to count. That's a couple of hundred. After 90 minutes, that's a big bag of rice. That's a cup and a half of rice. So after 90 minutes, you've got a lot of bacteria growing in your food. In ideal circumstances, food that's been left out for 90 minutes has a lot of bacteria. And then after 120 minutes, or two hours, your rice would have, um, would weigh 10 pounds. That's, the bacteria would have grown so much. When things double, by the time two hours is over, you would have enough to fill 10 pounds of rice. The O in Fat Tom stands for oxygen. So this is tomato paste that we just opened a little while ago. You see, it just looks like tomato paste. But this one we, we exposed to oxygen for a couple of days, and you can see that that's not something you'd want to eat. The O stands for oxygen. The more oxygen food is exposed to, the more likely it is to spoil, which is why when we can food, we make it in an oxygen-free environment. And the last letter in Fat Tom is M for moisture. So this is dry pasta. It has what's called a water activity of about 0.35. I feel pretty safe eating this. I don't think it's, it's very contaminated. But this, this pasta has been cooked. And once pasta's been cooked, its water activity is almost 1.0, I think 0.98 or 0.97. And that means that bacteria can live there. So once, back, once pasta's cooked, it's got a lot of water in it and it can, bacteria can really grow. And that is our Fat Tom experiment today.